Hi everyone, welcome to this video. Right, before I start, before I start, I'm doing my the videos to support each of my books. So this is Old Japan. If you like Japan and things like that, do get yourself a copy. However, today I'm possibly reviewing what should be the most boring book on the planet. And this is Measure and Construction in the Japanese House. It's actually quite interesting, to be fair. And what it is, is just a very quick flick through Right, a very quick flick through. Um, it's got, I'll get to all that. So basically, you can imagine what it is. It's an architecture book. It's to do with carpentry. It's to do with plans. It's to do with Japanese traditional building, things like that. It's exactly how you would imagine it. Pictures of locks, joints, things like that. Out, layout plans, types of doors. So why is it not as boring as it sounds? Well, Two people should buy this book. Two people. Number one is carpentry fanatics, i.e. if you're interested in joinery, carpentry, Japanese architecture, you know, Japanese Zen gardens and little platforms and wooden nooks and crannies, anything Japanese, yes, absolutely, the book is for you. The second one is Ninja Nutters. Ninja Nutters should be buying this book. If you're slightly interested in Ninja, as in, like, you know, you watch a few Ninja films probably not for you but if you're a fanatical ninja like minded person like me then yes it's for you why do we say that because simply it's if you go to the old ninja scrolls the stuff we've translated in the past it's full of joinery techniques uh sorry terminology architecture terminology things like that so you've got to creep under this and go over that and move this and jam that there especially bansen shukai which is which is Book of Ninja. That's got loads of architecture stuff in it in the breaking and entering section. And uh, also Chikamatsu's um, book on Iga and Koka Ninja skills and Hattori Hanzo stuff. They've all got little bits of architecture in little different places. However, one of the things that you always come across in Samurai and Ninja manuals is actually this sort of stuff, is measuring with the hand and the body. Now, this is a great layout. So, in, um, for example, that there, the double step is six feet, and it talks about that or loads in Natoru in Book of Samurai. It talks about the six foot stride of horses, of men, of things like this. Also talks about how to measure with your hands. So um, we always know the term shaku. So there you go. It's a one shaku, which is approximately one uh, imperial foot. So there it is. And again, it goes to the different bits. But not only that, on the next page, this page, it's actually got all the measurements there. So for this page alone, I am happy. I know that sounds really geeky, but this is about, you've got to be a geek to like this. And we're talking ninja geeks, samurai geeks. So one, to how many um, sort of shaku is in sun and burn and versus millimeters and centimeters. And they're all there. They're all here. So like nine shaku is 90 sun. But it's also just under nine feet. It is 108 inches or thereabouts. And it is 2,700-ish millimetres. So there you go. Like if I'm like, right, if the, the book says nine shackle, I can be like, ah, okay, nine shackle is this. Somebody needs to make that into a proper table. Uh, I don't have the maths head for that. So anyway, that's one of the best things about it from the point of view of a ninja manual samurai manual because it absolutely tells you you know what these measurements are some of the drawings in this are superb look at that for gorgeous i mean you really get an idea of the you know the the layout of course and of course what they're like the drawings are outstanding but it also talks about stuff like superstition. So stu superstition when you're building. Now, you wouldn't imagine this in an architecture book, but it's there. And there's some great stuff. For example, north is the direction of can, which is unhappiness and danger. Northeast is the um, the gate of the demon, uh, which I have discussed before in other things. Um, the east is f fear and thunder. Southeast is modesty. South is a departure. Southwest is obedience. Um, west is joy and pleasure and northwest is heaven the lord the emperor gate of heaven things like that so uh, when you're building remember we're talking about chinese directions here so when you're building you've got to understand these directions and what goes where and it's pretty much based in the feng shui world 
It also says something which is quite interesting, which is that the tea ceremony room is uh, also connected to a story from Buddha, in which uh, the lead Buddhist lead figure, sorry, in which a legendary Buddhist figure welcomed a saint and 84,000 disciples of the Buddha as a manifestation of XXX. But basically it's showing how this is connected to the tea ceremony room. Uh, I won't bore you to death with it because I'll have to read it all again. I did it the other day. Also saying basically a uh, strong presence um, with a picture in the, the recess, the tokonoma, you know, the small area in Japan is a very Buddhist connection. And he goes on about how, how that is basically connected to Buddhism as well. Because you remember there's a lot of, so what I was doing before with the directions is pretty much all Chinese stuff. So yin yang stuff, all that, that type of thing. But the Buddhist stuff is Indian stuff, even though it's come through China. So you've got to be careful when you look, talk about Japan, because actually... Uh, a lot of it's Indian through China or Chinese through mainland China. It also has the original scrolls in here. So these are dated. The, the date on this was excellent, if I remember rightly. It was something like 1601 or something daft. I was like, okay. Uh, there's a few different scrolls. The joints are so complicated. Look at that. Look at that. Somebody has to make that. That is ridiculous. Now, I know they say, like, you know, it goes on, oh, Japanese joints and Japanese country is so complicated. They don't use nails and it. And it just sort of becomes this cliche thing. But then you look at the joints and you're like, OK, <laughs> I get it. So, you know, and it goes through all the different cross joints, cross beams. Again, not the most interesting thing in the world. But I did ask them to send me this book because of the ninja aspect. So when it does talk about ninjas, it's absolutely talking about things like this. So, for example, here, this is the under construction. Now, if you go to Hattori Hanzo's um, Shinobi Hiden, which we translated as well, it talks about creeping under these and where you go. And Gumpo Jyoshu talks about what how you do to get through these, which it used to be reed mats or bamboo mats and you'd be soaring through them. Uh, the Hattori Hanzo one's talking about what you should avoid and with these stones versus that pillar. And of course the Japanese is here as well. And there's, yep, the Japanese is all there, just double check. So if you're actually reading the old ninja manuals, some of the stuff in here is really, really good. Now, something I didn't know, I've always, you know, shoji doors, um, you've got Fusuma and Shoji, they're different types of doors, but it's got here, or oh, I didn't realise inside of each one there are many multiple versions, different ways that they are constructed, which I've never really clocked before. When you live in Japan, you just go, Shh, crack on, you know, Shh, you just, oh yeah, it's, a, it's brown and white, it's white paper with brown wood, yep, that's fine. You don't even clock the fact that there are so many versions of them, and I am going to, next time I go to Japan, I am going to be checking that out. So guys, I won't bore you to death with this one because you're either into it or you're not. So this is a measure and construction of the Japanese house. Now, as I say, if you love Japanese architecture, Japanese things, get yourself a copy. If you're a ninja, I'm talking a proper ninja nutter to the point where you're like, ah, oh, I know that bit, I've done that, get it. If not, guys, it's probably not a book for you. But uh, if you've got some spare cash, then obviously support the author. But if you're a bit struggling or you're not sure what to buy, no, not for the average person, only for the specialist. But it was written for the specialist world. So enjoy.